Och en kvinna som har valt att stanna i Kiev det är Kristina Korban. Och hon har sedan kriget startade valt att lägga upp bilder på TikTok för att berätta om vardagen. Vi tar och tittar på det och sen så ska vi prata med henne. To be honest guys, last night was pretty crazy. It was nearly impossible to sleep. There were explosions going off for hours. The whole house was shaking. It felt like earthquakes. I heard missiles flying above me. Um, we were attacked basically in every city. People are trying to flee. Um, we just left the house to go to the store. Army over here, stocking up on stuff. People buying. Are you a lion? <coughs> yeah, you're gonna protect Ukraine. Say <coughs> Hi guys, the past 24 hours have been definitely very overwhelming. There's just a lot of decisions that have to be made on very many levels. Day 16 or 17. Who even knows anymore, guys? We lose track of the days. All the days are blurring into one. Good morning, Christina, and welcome to Aftonbladet. Good morning. How are you? How are you? I'm okay. Very tired, definitely. Um, another stressful evening. There were a ton of like pretty heavy blasts um, this morning again. Well, we start at around five in the morning. Um, there was another residential building hit. Just a lot of horror going on continuously. Kristina, mm. a lot of people has left Kiev. Why did you decide to stay? Um, well, we're taking it day by day. We still feel that it is safer for us personally to stay versus leave because there is a lot of danger on the road. It does take days to get to a neighboring safe border and I have a two-year-old daughter so just imagining a week-long trip in a car with a bunch of obstacles with a small child is very very difficult to make that decision. Mm. Christina, what do you tell your daughter about the situation? Well we try to pretend that everything is normal, we still play games with her, we try to keep her on her same routine because she's obviously feeding off of our stress, but she's still too young to understand what exactly is going on. So we just do our best to keep it as normal as possible for her. Hmm. But what has life been like in Kiev during this three week? Um, it's been scary. The streets are pretty empty. There's obviously tons of blockades. It's very hard to get around town. There's obviously military everywhere um, you see you know tanks and heavy machinery you know it's not something I'm definitely used to seeing so it's definitely shocking but other than that everyone's just kind of hiding laying low trying their best to stay safe hmm. are you afraid of course yeah <laughs> every day hmm. and what do you think will happen what do I think will happen? Um, I wish I knew. Um, hopefully things will start to die down soon. Hopefully this won't turn into a multiple year type of situation. I'm truly praying and hoping that our leaders of the world can come to some kind of resolutions and we can stop this murder happening because it's mm -hmm. horrible. So we've seen your TikTok videos and you, you look very strong and you, you say in a video that Ukrainian are built different. In what way? Well, I think, I think we have shown the world that we are very resilient. We are very proud of our country, of our land, and we're not willing to back down, even if that means risking our life. Um, this is our country and we have a very beautiful place here with a ton of amazing history and we're not willing to give it up and we will do whatever we can to keep it mm. as ours. Thank you, Christina.